What's up YouTube, this is Kyle and I'm back with another video. If you follow my channel, you probably noticed about 15 or 20 minutes ago, I actually uploaded a um, an attempted live stream, but for whatever reason, the internet connection went down. I've been on the internet in my apartment all day for whatever reason, when I decided to go live, didn't want to connect. Anyway, so as you can see on the thumbnail, I wanted to talk about egos in jujitsu and fighting. But before I kind of get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel. And if you're not and you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you for coming to watch this video. So, the way that this topic of uh, ego kind of came up, uh, about a month ago, um, I did an interview with uh, Michael Mijas, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Um, on Instagram, he is Mr. Jiu Jitsu. And he posts um, kind of like memes. Some of them are funny, some of them are serious. Posts stuff about self defense and, you know, being able to um, defend yourself and your kids and your loved ones and stuff like that. So, again, I had a chance to interview him. And during the interview, the topic of egos came up. So I asked him, like, um, you know, what, is his, what are his thoughts on egos in Jiu Jitsu? I know you hear it all the time when you come into a new gym, you'll see. Like as soon as you come in, you know, leave your shoes and your ego at the door and you know, people that do jujitsu have no ego and all of this. And I thought while I was interviewing them, I thought to myself, if I'm being honest with myself, like, is it true? Are you being honest with yourself if you really say that you don't have an ego at all? And I thought to myself, I mean, like I said, if I'm being honest, I definitely have an ego. I don't want some brand new person off the street to come in, you know, after a week worth of training and, you know, pass my guard, side mount me and arm bar me. Because they watched UFC a couple times or watched some YouTube videos or something like that. Yeah, that would that would definitely do something to my ego. But um, when I did my interview, he made a distinction between an ego and a healthy ego. I think that I have a healthy ego. Again, if I'm being honest with myself, I think I have a healthy ego. But of course, I'm sure like you all know, there are some people with like unhealthy egos. And to me, those are the people who like, they just cannot lose no matter what. Like they will hold on to a, a, a like if they're in an arm bar and it's a, a lower belt, they just will not tap. They will do everything they can to get out of that. Just it, listen, it, just tap out. We're at open mat or we're just training. Just, just tap out, but there's some people that have that mindset of, I just can't be tapped by a younger, I'm sorry, not a younger, but a lower belt. And matter of fact, I actually have a video up. Um, I, I'm a purple belt now, and I got tapped by a blue belt. Um, I'm not sure if it was my last video, it was maybe two videos ago, I'll put a link down in the description to that video. But when that happened, as soon as it happened, of course this is on video, I'm like, I gotta post this. Like, I, I mean, I, I show, I'm, I've had videos where I've, you know, submitted or tapped a higher belt or, you know, passed their guard or swept them or something like that. And I'll post those kind of things. But it wouldn't be fair for me to not post a video of me getting submitted by a, a lower belt. He was a blue belt. And I got submitted. It happens. Like, it, like I said, it happens. So that kind of comes back to the whole idea of being, um, having a healthy ego and just being humble like humble and healthy ego are kind of like next door neighbors i think i think but again i don't want to keep on rambling about the topic i really wanted to just kind of bring the idea to y'all and to kind of get some feedback in the comment section about whether or not you agree disagree um if you think you even need an ego is there a difference between jujitsu ego and let's say like somebody like this uh, UFC fighter or somebody who's in, in MMA. Is there a difference between that? Just let me know what you think down in the comment section and I'll definitely repeat, reply to um, you know all of those, those comments down there. Um, again, thank y'all for watching. I don't wanna ramble too long. I appreciate your support. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm gonna try to bring a little bit of a different type of vibe to the channel. Um, not everything is gonna be just me rolling and narrating. Of course, that's gonna be like the majority of my videos, but every now and then I'm gonna kind of present videos like this to y'all 
to kind of get some feedback other than just me rolling and stuff like that. So again, thank y'all for watching. I'm gonna end it there.